Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to implement a rage bar. So as you can see here under the health bar of the top left corner there is another smaller strip or a bar and it will be filled up as I attack enemies. After each successful attack since, uh, since these guys are blocking, I wouldn't attack like this. When they get blocked, that rage bar will fill up. And later, I will implement a way to consume that rage bar. So, I will implement a rage attack mode or something like that. But for now, I will show you only how to implement this rage bar UI component. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so first I'll open my HUD widget, this one. And right underneath this health bar, I'll add another progress bra, progress bar like this. under the panel health I'll name it rage bar and it should be positioned like this and I don't need much of a width for that it should be smaller than the first one the health bar so I would make it like this and anchor should be like this okay and I'll make it uh, fill in red because that's rage The background should be transparent a little bit like this. Okay, so I'll reset the percentage value to zero. And here, I'll add another custom event update rage just like this one I'll drag and drop rage bar and set percent like this the percentage should come as an input compile and now I'll open BP hard and here just like for the update health I need uh, another event to update rage uh, to be called from the player so I'll define another BPI UI function just like this one update rage and uh, input should be in float type rich okay and just like here I need a variable to hold rage value first uh, but uh, I think I don't need a max value I'll keep only one value like this rage and the default value should be zero I'll put these variables under fight health 
and health packs right and so where do I update this um, for this I think I need another function to be implemented in this BPI character just like update health similarly update let's add a function like this and we need the uh, input of course I'll name it change it should be in the type float so the reason to put it as a change because it can be either plus or minus right now under ch human under fight I'll implement that first I'll collapse this part I'll collapse this one also from the beginning I'll name it rage I really don't like to uh, let this blueprint become messy so that's why I'm doing keep doing it right now here uh, we can update the rage value like this get this plus this and we can't have values uh, larger than one and smaller than zero therefore let's clamp it like this okay and then so this is ch human class so this does not call to the hud because uh, the hud is uh, well, for all the human classes uh, it doesn't have uh, access to hud and we should access hud and update the ui component only for the player so therefore I'll go to player and just like this one I'll call update rage event here and add a call to parent function like this and like this and get a reference to HUD and update rage using vpi ui and this value should be rage okay now where should i increase rage and where should i decrease rage we can do that here whenever i get hit I should uh, decrease the rage. Is that the way that happens in games? 
no right so yeah uh, let's do it like this whenever i do a successful hit let's uh, increase the rage so we can check if it is a successful hit here this is the path it takes when the enemy is getting hit So, I can add update rage here. So, let's append it after this function. Update rage, so because this is a successful hit. And the change should be, let's say, 0.1. And I think I forgot to implement update rage here. Update rage here. Widget HUD. Update rage. The percentage. Compile. Let's see if that works. So if, it, if this is working, my rage bar should fill up as I attack uh, the enemies and the enemies get hit as you can see the rage bar is filling up and I still haven't implemented any of the mechanisms to consume that rage or the reduce it or do anything but uh, let's do that part in the next episode let's implement the rage mode the rage combat mode in the next episode if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the membership tier you join you will have different privileges and this is my new patreon tier which is masterclass and here i will personally teach game development uh, and this is only available for five people uh, I will teach eight hours uh, dedicated time for one person per month and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye